so glad to have you with us. Oh, I'm so glad to be here. I love your photos. They're fantastic. They look really great. Thank you. So tell everyone what you do. What is like your occupation? I am a personal stylist uh -huh. and I work in people's closets and help them come up with very fun looks for themselves. Really? So people call you and say, work with what is in my closet or do you take them shopping or what? It's kind of a process. I like to help them create their own personal style mm -hmm. and then from there get in their closet and then take them shopping and put it all together. Fun, mm -hmm. fun. Now, don't you do something else, like help people with dating? I do, I do. I'm technically an image consultant, mm -hmm. and an image consultant works with appearance, behavior, and communication. Mm -hmm. So I work with a lot of people who are dating, mm -hmm. and um, kind of look at what they're doing right and wrong, Yeah, and help them... Mm, just present themselves the way they want to. You know, they might be professionals and they don't have time to think about, they might be a lawyer or a doctor or CPA and they don't have time to think about, what do I say on a date, what do I wear, you know, mm -hmm. please help me. Yes, uh -huh. yes, kind of fast tracks them to help them reach their goals. That's so who or what has been the biggest influence on your personal style? My personal style in general, I would say women that I've met who are very confident. Mm -hmm. But I love um, women who have a lot of influences from the 70s and carry that through their designs. Oh. So I love Tamar Mellon. Uh -huh. um, she was just here, did you Yes, know? I did. I met her. Oh, it was, awesome. It was fun. Uh -huh. She's very nice. Um, I love Jade Jagger. I think she's got really interesting wow. style. Oh, yes. And I like, you know, Rachel Zoe. Uh huh. Always doing her own thing. What's the best piece of advice you've ever heard given? Um, I think the best piece of advice is don't try to change others, just change yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you change yourself, you actually change the dynamic. Yes. So work on yourself. Work on yourself. Mm -hmm. And and you can control then how others interact with you or, you know, mm -hmm. by being who you are. Exactly. It shifts mm -hmm. your perspective. It really does. That's good advice. A lot yes. of people try to change other people. Yes, they you know, do. Whether it's a spouse or a child or a parent or a friend or and you can't do that. Well, it's frustrating. Uh huh. I've tried. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I still do. <laughs> but <laughs> then I have to take my advice. advice. <laughs> can't read that. So, do you have any irrational fears? I do have some irrational <laughs> <No>. fears. <laughs> I always feel like I've left candles on when I left when I leave the house. Oh, really? Do you light a lot of candles I house? light candles everywhere. Uh-huh. So. <laughs> so you're like, I just did that the other day. Mm -hmm. I left one on all night. And mm -hmm. I woke up and I thought, wow, my apartment smells good. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're making it worse for but me. I'm still here. <laughs> so yes. do you kind of go back and check every time you leave the house? I do. <laughs> I go back and check. But right now we're on three levels. So sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I'll just keep my fingers crossed. Exactly. Keep a fire extinguisher close by. <laughs> exactly. I'm pretty good about it. So any others, or is that your main? <laughs> well, sometimes, you know, I don't know. Sometimes I feel, this is very strange, but I feel like I've left the bath water running. Like occasionally oh. I'll take a bath. Uh-huh. I need someone to analyze that for me. <laughs> There's some meaning behind that. We there is. Know. Maybe you drowned in a formal life. life or something. I don't know. I don't know. I watched the Neil Hamill and he got pushed out of a window. Exactly. <laughs> so. so wait, let me get this straight. When you turn on the bath, do you walk out of the room? Mm -hmm. and then, so then you think. Yeah. But then. Sometimes you, I'll turn it off, but I still. But you still think it's running. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, there's something behind that. There is. We need to figure that out. <laughs> so tell us something humorous about yourself. Oh, something humorous. <laughs> uh, well, let's see. This is the first thing that comes to mind. When I met my husband, I was wearing really high heels, and I thought I was walking to the ladies' room, and I slipped and <laughs> fell. That's funny. And he tried to catch me, and that's Is how that we how met. Is that how Yes. <gasps> but really? I got up and started laughing, and he said, that's why he asked me out. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's kind of fake. 
Mm. You know, it is. That's where you're walking, and you're be 19 walking down that. Street. Yes, they have put in carpet <laughs> since then because I guess I'm not the only one that's happened to. <laughs> Well, maybe they should take the carpet back out so the rest of us can fall and meet a cute guy. Maybe. <laughs> kind of a damsel in distress thing. I know. Oh, well, that's a cute story. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know if that's funny, but... That's pretty funny. <laughs> I can see now um, a lot of women now go, oh, that's a good way. That's a good one. Well, maybe I'll slip <laughs> or guys throwing some a ice. Cute guy. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> mm, there's more elegant ways to meet yeah. men. <laughs> That'd be my luck to go, God, you're quiet. <laughs>